वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश सेवन सो स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द कंपाउंड बीम विच इज पिन कनेक्टेड एट बी दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट फुली स्टेबल बट वेन द गिवन लोड इट इज गिवन इट इज बैलेंस एंड विल रिमेन शोन इफ नॉट डिस्टर्बिस डिस्टर्बेंट सो दिस इज अ कंपाउंड बीम दैट आर पिन टूगेदर एट पॉइंट बी एंड देर आर लोड्स विच कीप्स दैम स्टेबल सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द शेयर फोर्स एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द बीम सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इफ यू रिमूव दिस पिन सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए सो यू विल बी हैविंग अ रिएक्शन फोर्स लेट दिस इज आर ए एंड इफ यू रिमूव दिस पिन सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट सी सो यू विल बी हैविंग रिएक्शन फोर्स आर सी सो इफ यू नो आर ए एंड आर सी यू कैन ड्रा शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम since you can see that this beam is pin support so we will take two segments one is this ab and other one is bc and we will find the reaction forces so let take the segment ab so for segment for segment ab if i draw the diagram it will be like this is the beam this is a load of 6 kip clear let this point is r a this is point a where you have r a and this point b where we remove the pin so definitely there will be a reaction force which will be uh, given as r b and that will be downward why because you can see that uh, this force tend to make it downward this is upward and in order to keep it balanced this rb should be downward and the distance between this end to a is 4 feet so i will write 4 feet and distance between a and b is uh, 6 feet so we can find r a and r b by using equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is due to this force which is 6 into perpendicular distance is 4 and that is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive the second one is rb into perpendicular distance is 6 feet and that is producing counter clockwise there there that's why it will be negative but there sum will give you zero so i will write 6 into 4 minus rb into 6 is equal to 0 so 24 minus 6 rb is equal to 0 and rb will be equal to 24 divided by 6 so from here you will get this rb will be equal to 4 kips so this is the value of rb now you can find r a by using another equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and force support is taken as positive so minus 6 plus r a minus r b is equal to 0 so minus 6 plus r a minus r b and r b is 4 is equal to 0 so from here you will get this r a will be equal to 10 kip so this is how we find this r a now we will move toward our second segment that is b c so for segment b c i will draw free body diagram and let this is the beam this is your point c where you have r c clear and at a distance of 4 you have a load which is 8 kips so 8 kip and at point b you can see here you have taken the force downwards but according to newton third law on bc it will be upward so rb distance between these two loads are 4 feet and this distance is also 4 feet you can check over here okay now you can find this rc rb is known that is uh, four kips so you can find this rc by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so rb 
minus 8 and plus uh, a minus 8 plus RC is 4 kips is equal to 0 so from here you will get RB is also equal to um, sorry not RB RB is R B is 4 R B is 4 minus 4 4 minus 8 plus R C so this is R C and from here you will get R C will be equal to 4 kip now you have both R A and R C R A is equal to 10 kips and R C is equal to 4 kips so we can easily move to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So for that I will draw the vertical lines from the end of this beam. Similarly from the other end. And then there is a horizontal line in order to show the length in feet. This point is 4 feet. This is 4 feet. This is your six ten feet this is again your 14 feet and rest this is 18 feet here we will draw the shear force that will be in kips and let each division is equal to two so two four six similarly minus two minus four minus six so you can see at this end you have a six kips load so your first point will be this one now moving from this load till a there is no load so it will remain same and till this end we have this minus six so your shear force will remain same now here you can see you have a load of 4 uh, RA which is 10 kips so minus 6 plus 10 will give you 4 so shear force will change to 4 so 4 is this point we will move this to this point okay so this is your 4 kips now moving from point A till this load there is no shear force so it will remain horizontal and it will remain same till this point now at this point you have a load of 8 kips that is minus 8 so plus 4 minus 8 will give you minus 4 so shear force will change from 4 to minus 4 and then from 8 kilo load to point C there is no change so it will remain horizontal and at the end you can see you have RC which is plus 4 so plus 4 will bring it to this 0 so this is your shear force diagram now we will move toward bending moment diagram and for bending moment diagram again I have to take a horizontal line and x in feet here we will draw the moment the unit will be in kips into feet let one division is equal to 8 so it will be 16 minus 8 minus 16 minus 24 so the first area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area you can see this is minus 6 multiplied by this length which is 4 and that will be equal to minus 24 okay so at a distance of uh, 4 you will have minus 4 uh, minus 24 so I will pick minus 24 uh, let's choose minus 24 so here it will be minus 24 and x is equal to 0 we have moment is equal to 0 and you can see that this uh, shear force is a horizontal line with 0 degree and this area is negative so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and slope will be decreasing so you will get the line straight line 1 degree line the second area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area you can see this height is 4 and this width is 10 so 4 into 10 is plus 40 so here minus 24 plus 40 will bring it to plus 16 
so i will write it here minus 24 and plus 16 so at this point it is plus 16 and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line and slope is positive so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so you will get the bending moment like this the third area under the shear force diagram is this one and this one is minus 4 into 4 which is minus 16 so plus 16 minus 16 will bring it to 0 at this point and since this area is negative so shear force will be 1 degree higher and slope will be decreasing so we will get the bending moment will be like this one so this is your shear force diagram and this is your bending moment diagram and that was all about problem 6-7 about compound beam i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching